Okay, I believe all set to go. Um, this is just a little mini pop-up um, and I just wanted to share a little quick concept with three easy steps in order to, I don't know, just feel better about life. Um, there's this little thing I like to call the hamster wheel of what the fuck. And here's the thing, kind of like Nike, but I'm just saying, you gotta just do it, all right? If you want change in your life, you gotta just start. So this is my presentation on just starting. And I just wanted to share that with you. I'm Courtney with a K, your mindset metamorphosis mentor. Um, quite frankly, I spent the first 33-ish years of my life really not aware of life in general, like how I had a play and the results that I was getting. I just kind of thought things were getting that either they got handed to or you got shit dished to. And I'd never really realized how much I have a say in my own life. Um, then I started to learn more personal development and went through this whole change where I call it my do-it-yourself time frame where I was teaching myself a lot of stuff and I went to uh, behavioral counseling. I was even on medication for a while and quite frankly, just starting end of last year and the very beginning of January of 2023 is when like the final major, major shift went off in my head. Cause it's usually when we do have personal growth moments, it's because something happened that shakes us enough to the core that we're able to get knocked out of the haze that we've been in. And we can start seeing that there's more possible or that there was something else to it or that maybe we've been kind of living a lie or there's been a story that we've been hiding behind. There's so many different things. Everybody's a little bit different because we all have our own experiences. But if you want to have something different, then you need to do something different, correct? And we've all heard it, you know, the definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. And the thing is, is our brains are tricky. So we'll think we're doing things differently, but we're not. Um, that was one of the major knocks on the head that I had um, late January as I was approaching my next birthday. I had realized that for a good decade, I actually was doing basically this. I was doing the same thing. It looked different. It was under different names and stuff, but I was doing the same thing over and over again. And I kept telling myself that this time I was going to have the results that I wanted, but they didn't happen. I was on a hamster wheel of what the fuck. We all have different hamster wheels, but they do happen. And so we need to get off the hamster wheel of what the fuck. I mean, sometimes we're going hard. We are trying so damn hard to get to that next point, to get to the next level, to get to the goal, to do a little bit better, to have things better. And we're trying so hard and we're like, don't you feel like you should already be there? Like, why am I not, why am I not there already? And you can tell that whatever this it is that you're after, like it's literally just within your grasp. You can sense it, you can almost smell it or taste it, but you can't seem to get a hold of it. You're working so hard, putting in all this effort, but you're not getting anywhere. Like what the hell is happening? Or maybe you even feel hopeless. Like this is never ending. I keep trying and trying and trying and nothing changes. And you feel like I've done all the different options I could possibly do. There is no better alternatives. I'm doing the best I can. Why is my life not changing? I mean, do you ever feel like you keep finding yourself back into the same situations or relationships or circumstances? There's so many different things that you could maybe be like, I keep finding myself with this. I keep finding myself in that. These are all examples of the hamster wheel of what the fuck. I am not kidding you there. And there's so many more. This is just to give you a little, um, 
like jog into the thinking processes. I'm very curious to hear what people's hamster wheels are. You can message, you can comment. Um, I'd like to hear all the different ones. But here's the great thing. We want to get off that hamster wheel, okay? We want to get off the hamster wheel of WTF. So one of the major things is, are you ready to make some real changes? Have you realized, have you had that epitome moment? Mine was, I woke up and it's like 3 a.m. It was an hour before my alarm was going off for the job that I cannot stand that just sucks joy for me. It was like this great wall of China in all of my life from Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I, could, I didn't do anything else. I, Thursdays, I was dreading. Thursdays, I was in, living in dread because it was work eve, work weekend, week, work weekend eve. And then and I had to make sure that I was ready because the next three days, I'm not gonna be able to do anything but work and sleep. And then Monday, I was so exhausted that I usually was like in recovery. So that left me Tuesday and Wednesday. But it got to the point where Wednesday I was starting to feel anxiety about how tomorrow's Thursday, tomorrow's weekend work eve. Like, oh my God, it so sucks. So really I only had Tuesday that I was really enjoying in life. And it was pretty bad. But I woke up at 3 a.m. It was quiet. It was dark. It was silent. It was like all of divine creation was about me. And this all the dust was settled and everything was crisp, like the, a, like a cold, crisp, clear winter night where you're looking at the stars and they're just perfect. And I had this clarity and I realized, holy crap, I've been doing the same thing over and over and over again for a decade. And my birthday is coming up again. Am I really going to do this for another year? And here's another thing. To get off the hamster wheel of what the fuck, you have all the answers inside of you already. It's weird, but trust me, you do. Um, I didn't believe that before, but it's so true. And you would think hopping off that wheel should be so easy. So why isn't it happening for everyone? And it's because we're conditioned. We're so used to being on there and doing the thing and all of the habits that doing anything else seems wrong and scary and unknown and also like there's no guarantee we do know the guarantee of what we're doing in the moment because we've already been living it out and a lot of the times we don't understand how we're doing a lot of questioning and so it, it, it's like how do we get off of there how do we get off let's discuss how you do this thing okay because it's actually so freaking simple it's ridiculous number one yeah I just gotta start <laughs> right now just start it doesn't matter how you are starting you need to quit worrying about when is the right time or having all of the the answers or what others are going to say or think or do about it or the hows and the who's and the what's and the when's and the where's like I need all the freaking details and I need like a 50 point plan and I need to see from start A to, to the end like exactly everything I want to be Dr. Strange and just see all of the options and the how they all play out so that I can be guaranteed a result at the end nope you just freaking start why? Well, here we go. Number two, you just got to start messy. Be willing to be messy. That's number two, be messy. You need F perfection, okay? Stacey Bayman, uh, one of my coaches right now, is freaking amazing. And she said in one of her podcasts or in one of the videos I watched recently, be willing to be bad in order to become great. You will, and here's the thing, you will figure it out faster and it's easier while you're in the process of doing. When I started my health and fitness journey, I started out all fucking wrong. It was wrong. Everything I did, aside from starting, was wrong. But had I not started, I would not have had that baseline of starting to work from. I would have just been sitting in plan mode, 
planning mode, thinking about it, wondering about it, wishing for it, hoping for it, thinking it would be great. Seeing other people and being like, must be nice that they've got that shit going on for them. No, I finally sat down and I just started and it started out so wrong. I didn't know what I was doing. I was on my own and I just started. But you know what? I've come so far from then and I'm so glad that I took that chance to just start and to just start not even knowing a damn thing and learning as I went. And this applies to everything else. Motion is the creator of motivation while planning is the death of motivation. Some key things to think of, perfection and progress cannot coexist. Perfection isn't even a true thing, but progress is progress. Every step forward is a step forward. You may end up taking detours, but even those detours teach you something and you're still staying in motion instead of staying stagnant so that you end up just being stuck in place. Because once you just get stuck in place, it is so hard to get started again. So just start number one and number two, be messy. Number three, get a coach. Find out who's where you want to be and get in touch with them, follow them, hire them, whatever. But you don't copy what they do, but see how they have made it through and you can model their concepts. You can help take in some of their perspectives that may be different than yours to help you see a better way to go about things. Because sometimes you may have thought there was a guard up on this hamster wheel and you didn't realize you were really on a hamster wheel. But then you, you talk to this coach or you follow this coach on this podcast or you hire somebody and as they're talking to you and asking questions or talking about something in particular, it clicks for you. And then all of a sudden these blinders come off and you're like, holy crap, I never saw that before. And then a path becomes clear for you to start walking on. And a coach helps you build belief in yourself. And remember, if someone else has done it, so can you. A coach helps you see your true self and potential. We're typically our worst critics, right? And here's the thing to remember, if no one else has done it, maybe you haven't noticed anybody else has done it. Guess what? The answers are inside of you. You are unique. You have your own unique gifts for this world and you can create the way. And a coach helps you determine the tools that can help you get yourself off your hamster wheel of what the fuck, because your coach has already been through this shit. Your coach has been through the pitfalls. Like I, I went through all that, those downfalls with like learning about weight loss and, and nutrition and health and everything. It didn't even start off like me really caring about my health, to be honest, but I was doing it all on my own at first. I didn't have a community or a coach or anything at first. And I did a lot of stumbling, but then when I started, when I got a coach and I started having a better community around me and I started listening to experts and following them, it got easier for me to see better options to choose from so that I could pick better paths. I had way better maps to follow and I had more tools put into my toolbox to work with. And so that is why it's so important to make sure that you're not seeking advice from somebody that's already where you're at still. You know, if there's somebody else on their own hamster wheel, I mean, you guys can relate to each other about being stuck on a hamster wheel, but if you want to get the hell off the hamster wheel, you need to work with somebody that's gotten off the hamster wheel and has moved on to a path and is free from all of that so that they can help you see how you can become free. So what is the best way to learn how to ride a bike? Just throwing in a little analogy here to wrap all of this together. Like how do you get skilled with riding a bike? Do you do it by looking at a bike or bikes? Do you do it by thinking about riding a bike? Like you just, you know, sit around, you think a lot about riding bikes. Maybe you do it by watching other people <laughs> riding bikes. Look at all those people riding bikes. They're doing, oh yeah, look at that. Pretty skilled there. That's nice. I'll think about it some more. I'll look at some more, bu more bikes. I'll dream about bikes. Or do you get skilled by getting on the damn bike 
and trying over and over, even if you need to use training wheels at first. I know it's pretty obvious answer, right? But the thing is, is when it, I put it in an analogy like this, it's, it's obvious, but a lot of the times when it's just, when we're in our shit, it's not that obvious because we are so much in our shit, which is why it's really important to have somebody to talk with about these things to help reflect stuff back for us to really actually get a better perspective on things. And you just got to start messy. Get, get on the damn bike and give it a whirl because yeah, you're going to crash and burn quite a few times, but then you get better and better and better. I mean, we could even rewind further. Like when you were a baby, you sure as hell didn't care what other people were going to say about you or laugh at you because you were learning to stand up and walk and stuff. You didn't care. You just kept trying until you got it right. You crashed and burned a ton of times. And look at you now, <laughs> you know, it's the same concept. So start messy. Oh, just start, be messy, get a coach. Those are my three tips to you. And just remember to have patience with yourself. Rome was not built in a day. This is gonna take some time. You're gonna be building all of these beautiful little building blocks that are gonna create this amazing foundation. You're not gonna see all of the answers right away, but as you start picking away at it, shit's gonna start getting clear. As you start talking to more people, you're gonna, you're gonna learn more and more things. You're always just one more conver one conversation away from having that right answer. And you will start out slow, but you'll gain momentum as you go. It, you're gonna be building this huge foundation. Imagine a pyramid. It takes a lot of work to get that big, huge base created, but you wanna make sure that you do a really good job on that because you're building everything else on top of that. And as you progress, things are gonna start getting more streamlined. You're gonna get bigger, better, stronger, faster and you're gonna get so much good so good at it that eventually you're just gonna have that pyramid built yo so i'm courtney with a k your mindset metamorphosis mentor i help women get off the hamster wheel of what the fuck um become more aware of your potential as i assist you in working towards what you really want in life you have all of the resources and ability inside of you already Change is just, just one decision away. What if you are only one more interaction, one more conversation away from seeing things differently and changing your life? So stop feeling stuck and uncertain. Start feeling confident and free in your own skin everywhere you go. Let's set up a free one-hour consultation call to discuss what your hamster wheel is where you want to be and how you'll get off your hamster wheel and onto the path of where you want to go. I'm here to talk. I have an initial consultation form that you can fill out and you're able to just reach out to me with message and we can set things up. It's totally free. Could be the next conversation that gets you off that wheel. So thanks for taking time to listen and We'll chat again soon.